Hi, let's talk about evidence of a chemical reaction. Several items here. Now remember, not all of these have to be present. You just need one, and that's going to be evidence of a chemical change. Now really quick, what is a chemical change? This is going to be when atoms rearrange from reactants and form something new. They form a new product. So it's the atoms uh, rearranging themselves to form a product. So number one piece of evidence is going to be a new substance is formed. Those atoms rearrange from reactants and they form something new as the product. So you identify a new substance. Next is not reversible. So this would be the idea um, that you can't unfry an egg. That would be evidence of a chemical reaction. Now there is a disclaimer on this. There are some chemical reactions that are reversible. When you get to your equilibrium unit, you'll learn about that. Um, so if you see something that's not reversible, you can't go backwards, you can't unfry that egg, you go, oh, it's a chemical reaction. But if you can reverse something and it's not a phase change, then you're going to look for other evidences of a chemical reaction. Um, remember, phase changes, that's when you have one substance and it just goes from a solid to liquid to gas or back. Um, that would be physical changes, not chemical changes. So like water um, going from an ice cube to liquid evaporation to a gas condensing back to a liquid, freezing back to a solid. That's not a chemical change, those are all reversible. Um, this would be something different and you'll learn about those type of reactions. Um, again, if you see something that's not reversible, um, can't unfry that egg, then you say, oh, chemical reaction. Next, colors produced, one of my favorite things. So you have this reaction, you get a new color. Um, this happens a lot in solutions. Gas is evolved and how you'll have evidence of this is that you'll see bubbles. So that's going to be a chemical reaction. Light is emitted, also one of my favorites. Um, so some sort of light a color is produced. There's a temperature change. Notice I didn't say it gets warmer, it gets colder. It could be either. We can have endothermic reactions where uh, that reaction happens, reactants change into products, and it actually gets colder because it uh, takes an energy from, um, from the, oh, excuse me, it, um, endothermic, it takes in energy from the surroundings, or it could be exothermic, um, where it's releasing energy to the surrounding. So a temperature change, that could be an evidence. This one is also important with that word change, odor. You could start with a smell and reactants, it has to be a different smell um, for the product, so an odor change. And then this is a great one, a precipitate is formed. So as a reminder, a precipitate is when you have two aqueous solutions, you mix them together, that's going to be the reaction, and it forms a solid, it forms a solid. So a precipitate, let's put um, right here, in parentheses, a solid is formed from aqueous solutions, from aqueous solutions. Uh, you can watch the video on, um, on a nanionic equation equations, double replacement reactions, and you'll be able to see examples of that. So there you have it. Evidence that atoms rearrange to form a new product. Evidence of a chemical reaction. Have a good day. Thank you.